All righty, guys. So now that the week is over, it's Saturday. I figured let's do a quick SoFi video going over how the stock did last week. We'll break down the charts, talk a little bit more about student loan forgiveness. My thoughts on that. We'll actually break down numbers regarding SoFi, their student loans. Essentially, I want to run through their most recent earnings report, which came out about at this point two months ago. So we're going to go over that. Some things I want to show you. But before we do that, don't forget to get your free money from Moomoo, the sponsor of today's video, guys. Use that link down below, open up your account, and fund it with at least $100. You get five stocks, each up to $2,000. bucks. Fund it with at least $1,000. You get 10 more stocks, totaling 15 stocks. And guys, listen to this. The best part of the promo, fund your account with at least $5,000. On top of those 15 stocks you already got, you also get a free share of either Tesla stock or Google. That's limited time. Use that link down below. And of course, that is an affiliate link. I appreciate you guys as always. And with that being said, cheers. Let's dive right right into the video. So I think when I made my SoFi video yesterday, the stock was at about uh, maybe 850, 60, uh, maybe 70, somewhere in there. And we actually ran down even more from that point. I think when I made the video, uh, the stock was red and we ended up closing down even further. It looks like the stock went down 4.25% on the day, down 37 cents. It closed at 834. And that marks a dollar drop, over a dollar drop from the high of the day, which you guys can see here was at $9.41. So what is that percentage wise, guys? We're talking about an 11%, almost 12% drop. Pretty big drop there uh, for SoFi stock, no doubt about it. And if I pull up, and mind you, we have a death cross now on the intraday chart, which isn't the end of the world, guys. Uh, but that is kind of what we're seeing right here. And arguably we have a, uh, a descending triangle, do we not? You guys probably see that. Maybe not the cleanest looking one, uh, but, but you see what I mean, right? And let me pull up the five-day chart so we can see how the stock did over the past couple of days. And then we'll break down the numbers, kind of what I'm looking at here under the hood because guys, stocks are not just, you know, tickers and, you know, numbers on a screen. They're actual companies with revenues, profits, different segments. And, and we're going to talk about that in a second here for SoFi. But first, a look at the five-day, five-minute with uh, Friday's red day and Thursday's, I believe, red day. Yeah, Thursday's red day. Now we're starting to see a death cross on the five-day, five-minute. We're under the moving averages and now we're taking out the highs with Friday's move from obviously Thursday but also Wednesday and it looks like uh, yeah it looks like we took the lows out uh, pretty much from uh, Tuesday as well we're pretty much right there so this is starting to slip to the downside I'm not gonna lie guys like I say on the channel all the time this channel I, I keep things real I'm gonna tell you guys how it is I'm not gonna sugarcoat it and just cater to what you want to hear hopefully you like that if you do make sure to subscribe stick along you know stick around hit that like button while you're at it I appreciate you guys <laughs> as always so look so far on the five day looks like we do have a bit of a, a head and shoulders as well left shoulder head right shoulder boom we're starting to drop down and on the 10 day let me pull that up and see uh yeah it looks like we're slightly under the moving averages on the 10 day chart looks like we're about to get a death cross as well <clears throat> by the looks of it as of now of course mind you monday markets it's a half day tuesday july 4th markets are closed so we're gonna have a pretty wonky week next week but you know as of now looks like we're about to get a death cross we'll see how that ends up uh, playing now and on the 20 day chart let me pull that up now you're going to start to see the wedge that I talked about I believe yesterday and in the past couple of SoFi videos you guys can see now if I pull up the four hour chart you're really going to see it if I zoom in uh, you're going to notice wait a second we're uh, we're looking a little bit toppy at about nine dollars you're right about that but at the same time wait wait a second we're making higher lows what the heck is going on we're in a wedge guys right again we're making lower highs but higher lows at the same time and even though we had a rough thursday friday uh we're still technically holding this trend line are we not you guys see that we're at a higher low even though i butchered that let me uh, let me do this for my uh for myself guys there we go i butchered that again but either way uh you can see we're holding higher lows but again at the same time uh we're making these lower highs boom you see that so what direction are we going to pick i mean if we do fall under the reality is guys if we do fall under this eight dollar seven uh, fifty level you know, we're probably going to slip down on the 180 SMA, $7, maybe 710, which we have talked about in the past. But if next week is a stellar week, you know, maybe the sell off is over with. We start breaking above the mid eights, nines. You know, we did, mind you, yesterday take out the highs from Thursday. 
Uh, but that didn't last pretty much, which was, again, it was a pretty crazy day. 11, 12% drop from top to bottom. So what direction are we going to pick, guys? That is kind of what I'm waiting for on the four-hour chart. And let me pull this up and show you guys now that we have student loan forgiveness uh, pretty much uh, over with, out the window. More student loans are going to be coming down the pipeline, no doubt about it. That's the reality of the matter. And if you guys take a look here quickly, I don't want to you know talk about this too much because we have covered it before here on the channel. But if you guys take a look at SoFi student loan originations right here, stemming back from uh, Q1 of 2021, Q2, Q3, Q4 of that year, it was very high, guys. Those numbers were looking pretty dang juicy, guys. You can see in Q1 of 2021, they did about a billion dollar student loan originations, 850 million in the next quarter. Then by Q4 of that year, almost 1.5 billion dollars. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but uh, it's right up here. Listen along, you guys will get the drift as I, uh, you know, talk about what's going on here. Then full year 22, guys. Uh oh, what the heck happened there? It dropped to $980 million in Q1. Then it dropped like a stone, a freaking brick in Q2 of 2022. It dropped to 400, under $400 million student loan originations. Then $450 million in Q3, $400 million in Q4. And now it's slowly creeping up. As of Q1 of this year, 2023, it went up to about $500 million and I suspect we'd be back uh we'll be back over the billion dollar mark fairly soon here and probably over that uh in due time at least in my opinion now that we're going to be getting uh more more people out there getting student loans that's the reality and we're getting the freeze uh or rather the uh you know the moratoriums ending here pretty soon and at that point more refinancing money's going to come through the pipeline here for uh, for SoFi it's going to be really good for them guys it's going to be uh really good for them business wise and the argument now is, which I think a lot of the analysts are going back and forth on, and honestly, a lot of retail is talking about as well, is whether or not this is already priced in. Is it priced in? Is it not? I don't know. That's a very good uh, question. I think when it ran up, arguably at $10, maybe all that was already priced in. Uh, but now we've retraced a good amount since then, guys. I mean, you guys can see now the stock is down about $2 uh, for a $10 stock. That's a big chunk. I mean, it's not crazy. It's not like a 50% drop drawdown, uh, but it is down about 18, almost 20%, 19, somewhere around there. Uh, so it is in a bear market. And at one point it was down to what? 770. It was down 26%, 25% um, at one point. So was it priced in at, at the $7 level? I would argue probably not. I mean, I don't know. And the thing is, the unknown at this point, and we'll wrap it up here, guys, is how much student loan demand are we going to get in the next year, two years, couple of quarters, now that we're kind of moving past, um, you know, uh, you know the the pandemic, right? How much how much demand are we going to see? Because like I said, we had what three straight years of college, um, you know, what's it called? College, not acceptance decline, but college enrollment. That's what I meant. Yeah, we talked about that yesterday. So that's probably negative for SoFi, obviously. Uh, but what if we get a boom? And, um, you know, enrollment in the next year or two, three years now that maybe people are, you know, back in campus at campus and those people that took a year or two off because they didn't want to go online anymore. Uh, th they thought it was a waste of money. What if they all now enrolled back in demand for student loans would then go up and maybe that's not priced into SoFi. There's a lot that goes into it. That's just a thought. And there's way more that goes into it than that. Uh, but that is just a thought. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, do not forget to get your free money for Moomoo Moo, up to 16 stocks each up to 2000 bucks. Once you open up your account and fund it with at least $100, guys, listen to this. You get five stocks each up to 2000 bucks and you get a $100 cash reward and fund your account at least $1,000. You get 10 more stocks totaling 15 stocks. And guys, listen to this. Fund your account at least $5,000. You get another free share of either Google or Tesla guaranteed on top of those other 15 stocks. I know this promo is crazy, so use that link down below below. And of course, that's an affiliate link. It helps out the channel. I appreciate you guys as always. And with that being said, cheers. I'll catch you later.